Hashing applications are many and varied. It may be considered as a mini encryption because uh, it doesn't have the burden of encryption. It is usually uh, much faster. It's designed for uh, something to be done in a stream. Uh, remember, the uh, property of hash is that no matter what's the size of the original pre-hash file or data, the hash is always the same small size. Also remember that size equals security. In the extreme case, when we hash into one bit, like an error correction code, uh, the hacker has a 50% chance to come up with a pre-hash that will map, that will agree with the hash, because there are only two possibilities. If there are two, 25%. If there are n, to the power of minus n is the chance for the hacker to take a random message and generate the hash that we expect him to generate if he knew what the file was. So the size of the hash is the security. This becomes very small very quickly so that uh, if you have uh, uh, 20, 30, 40, 100 bits you are safe. The chance of, of random uh, guessing is minimal. And this is the basis for the application. We will see that there are two types of application. Those that the hash is in the open, like in password uh, management, and those that the hash is signed, so that the hash itself has another mechanism, the asymmetric uh, cryptography as security, and then it provides its security to the message. Password management. A nice application of the hashing algorithm. Uh, without hashing, if you have a server here, and you have a user coming to the server, trying to identify himself or herself, submits the password, the server goes to the file where the passwords are written, pulls the right one, compares, if the passwords agree, then the user is accepted. The problem, of course, is that this file with the password is hackable to a, an external hacker or maybe one of the programmers that uh, works on the system that Fortunately, we've hired the Rotten app that is abusing the access and takes uh, the, this file and then does damage with the stolen passwords. So, what do we have with hashing? The idea of uh, password management with the hashing algorithm is simply to take the password and to hash it. And what we keep in the, in the file that the server is using is not the password itself, but its hash. And when Alice comes, uh, approaches the, uh, the server, trying to uh, identify herself and get permission to do her thing in, with the computer, she offers a password. The server will take the password, will pull out the corresponding hash associated with Alice's name and compare the hash from the uh, file to the hash that the server computes from the password that Alice submits. If the hashes agree, then Alice is accepted. If they don't, Alice is rejected. So the same functionality as we had here. With one difference, what we keep here is the hashing result of the password. Now, is there a difference between keeping the hash versus keeping the passwords? Of course, it's more secure because the hacker uh, will have a hard time generating a password from the hash if the hash algorithm is not compromised. However, it's important to remember that there is an intrinsic 
weakness to this method. And that is the fact that the hacker doesn't have to necessarily guess Alice's password exactly. He could find any other password that will hash to the same result. And the server who compares the hash in the file to the hash computed from the submitted password would accept it. So the disadvantage here is that the hacker can has a choice, uses the equivocation to his or her advantage, and can pass as Alice with any one of those choices. The idea and the hope is that none of this is tractable. None of those possible passwords the hacker can guess or arrive at in a timely fashion. Chain messages, another application for uh, hashing. But this one requires uh, hashing that are signed or encrypted. We have a sender that writes a message, is hashing the message and gets a hash. But instead of attaching the hash itself to the message, the sender uses his private key or her private key to encrypt the hash. And the result of the, uh, the result, the encrypted hash, is then attached to the message. The message plus the encrypted hash goes to the, reci the recipient. The recipient got it, the message or the encrypted hash, takes the encrypted hash, uses the public key of the sender to decrypt the hash and get back the age, the hash. And in parallel, he takes or he or she takes the message and hashes the message. And the last thing is to compare the result of the hash to the decrypted hash that was attached to the message. If they agree, then the assumption is that the sender is the author of the message and the message has the integrity that's expected. No hacker changed anything. That's the concept. Now, let's see how it can be used for chain messaging. Alice writes a message. She attaches to it the uh, encrypted hash and sends it to Bob. Bob can verify that Alice sent it to him because he does what we described right here. So what Bob does, Bob uh, adds his comments to what Alice wrote to the message and then takes the entire package, which is Alice's message, her hash and his comments, is hashing this entire package, encrypting the hash with his private key and attaching the encrypted hash to the package and takes everything here and sends it to Carla. What does Carla do? Carla, first of all, uh, checks that the comments are really from Bob, the same mechanism that we described here, compares the encrypted, the decrypted version of this hash to the hash that she gets when she uh, decrypts everything here. When it fits, it knows that everything here is uh, with integrity, and if she wants to make sure that the message that Alice sent is also uh, with full integrity, she does with this hash what Bob did before. And then Carla wants to add her comments. So she takes the entire package that was sent to her up to here and adds her comments. There is a new package here. You take all this stuff and you hash it, or what she hashes it, encrypts it, and the encrypted hash she adds to the package and sends it to David. David 
would go through this process, make sure that this has the integrity as Carla uh, specified. But if he doesn't believe that Carla sends him something that is authenticated, that is authentically uh, Bob's message, he can check it by checking what Carla did to Bob's comments. He can do the same and do the same to Alice's message originally, if he doesn't trust Carla, and on it goes. This is, by the way, conceptually, one of the underlying mechanisms that uh, Bitcoin is using in order to keep the transactions that uh, took place with digital coins to keep them uh, on the right track and that there will be no uh, foul play. But it has a variety of managerial application, both in civil and military uh, uh, situations. Uh, it's called chain messages, or as, as the names, but that's one of the uh, applications that uh, hashing combined with the asymmetric uh, cryptography can offer us.